Take one size 16 woman who can't give up her favourite food. I love chocolate brownies, spotted dick, sticky toffee pudding and lemon tart. Mixed together with four hot chefs willing to share their skinny secrets. What we after is chocolate, for goodness sake. Allow six weeks to reduce by one size. That's not sort of the thing you'd associate with, with dropping a dress size. And you've got a recipe to cook yourself thin. <laughs> It's official. Diets don't work. The average Briton wastes 30 years of their life dieting. But it's not working. We're constantly obsessing and depriving ourselves to a point where we become scared of everything we're eating. Well, stop starving yourself because diets are over. This is the show which will teach you to love your food because you can shift the bulge and still indulge. Meet our four cool cooks who regularly have their cake, eat it and still look gorgeous. Chef Sophie. There's nothing worse than diets. Have a little bit of what you want now and again and just have a kind of balanced overview. Food stylist Harry. Basically, I'm not interested in chocolate that's sort of a half-measure chocolate. I like something that's going to really give it to me properly. <laughs> Food writer Gizzy. I couldn't live without pasta because I've, it's such an, a quick, easy way of filling yourself up. And food consultant Sal. Forget diets, they're the biggest waste of time. Just get in there and start cooking. In this series, they'll teach you to cook yourself thin. Each week, they'll be helping a disillusioned dieter to drop a dress size without giving up their favourite foods. You know, we're not lamby pambies about this chocolate business. You're either going to have it or not, and if you're going to have it, get it right. Plus, we'll bust diet myths by testing out popular slimming products, finding out once and for all if any of them work or if they're just big, fat fibs. 26-year-old Sophie Harvard obsesses about food. I love food. I tend to link food with every type of emotion, whether I'm celebrating, happy, sad, depressed. But these eating habits have given Sophie a permanently bloated belly. I'm currently a size 16. The worst bit about my body is my stomach. Like so many girls, Sophie has a weakness for puddings. I love chocolate brownies, a spotted dick, sticky toffee pudding. I don't like to deprive myself of anything. She also binges on the most popular takeaway in the country, pizza. I like to have friends over and we eat pizzas because they're just quick and easy to take out and they taste nice. But there's one food that Sophie's obsessed with that surely should be good for you. I really can't resist my Pizza Express Caesar salad. I tell myself it's healthy because it's salad, but it just tastes so nice. Last week I had... Bye. Can our girls teach Sophie to cook herself thin? You know, she is capable as a cook. She needs to get back in the kitchen. She's quite partial to pizza, isn't she? I think. Oh, yeah. Which, you know, <laughs> love it, but not, not gonna, it's not going to get the stomach down, definitely. So, you know, that's <laughs> sure. pizza stomach. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Eating out's great, but actually, you don't know what's in your food, so you, sometimes things look totally innocuous, Innocent. like yeah. salads, you know, and then suddenly you've got dressings on it that just are off the wall, you know. Sophie's beloved Caesar salad can top over a thousand calories with most of these coming from the deep fried croutons and the creamy dressing. Gizzy's challenge, create a tasty but skinny chicken Caesar salad. I've just got these chicken breasts. I'm just going to pop them onto the grill. I'm going to make some Melba toast instead of croutons because, as we all know, croutons are completely dapsed in oil. Laden um, with Laden with French in it. Oh, look, toast is ready. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Just chopping the crusts off and uh, chop them in half horizontally. Would you mind popping these in the oven for me? We're going to yeah. just roast them on a high heat for a couple of minutes, just till they curl up. I'm just going to make the dressing now, which is really, really, really simple. What we've done to cut the fat out is, you know, normal Caesar dressings have got an egg yolk, which is really fatty, 
loads of olive oil, tons of parmesan. Yes. So I'm going to use all, most of the same ingredients, but just kind of cut them back a bit. I've got these anchovies in here with some garlic. What I'm going to do is just completely mash them up. I'm not going to compromise on, on the cheese in this. So I think it's really important. Just use it, but use it sparingly. And something like parmesan is so strong, you don't need that much anyway. And my secret ingredient, zero-fat Greek yogurt. Is that instead of like egg yolk and oil? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it, it does add a real creamy flavour. Yeah, have a taste. Nice. And it's really good. Oh, yum. God, the toast. Would oh. you grab it for me? <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. I think that's why we were given hands to get in there and get mixing with. Just going to carve this uh, chicken. It's really yummy and juicy. And I'm just topping with fresh anchovies. There we have it a low fat Caesar salad. To make this dish even skinnier, ditch the Melba toast. More indulgent, add poached egg. Fingers every time. Oh my goodness. Really creamy bit. Good? Mm. That's delicious. You wouldn't even know that was low so fat at all. The chicken Caesar salad tastes great, but does it pass the cook yourself thin test? Meet the bomb, technically known as a ballistic bomb calorimeter. It's an expensive piece of high-tech equipment used by science bods to measure the exact calorie count of any food. This is how it works. Food is blended in a liquidizer, placed in a hot oven until burnt to a cinder. It's crushed to a powder, inserted into a sealed chamber and then charged with oxygen. The food sample is then exploded revealing the calorific content, which is 379 calories. That's a staggering 600 calories less than Sophie's regular chicken Caesar salad. Gizzy's beaten the bomb. So, this is the most amazing all-rounder, Salsa Verde. It's one of those things that when you really are stuck and you think, what am I going to do? People are turning up. I want to do something incredible. I haven't got time now. Bash it out in 15 minutes. You can put it with chicken, fish. I had it the other day with um, roast lamb, which was awesome. It's just an extremely lively, green hit. Looks amazing. It's ready in five minutes. For this one, which is one for chicken, I'm going to go with tarragon, some parsley and some chervil. I'm roughly chopping it. There's no need to be fussy about, you know, everything. It's homemade. It should look homemade. So this is now going into a bowl with literally some olive oil. I'm going to season this with garlic, really important, salt and pepper. And it's the most wonderful, loose, green, lively, fresh sauce. Basically, you can put it pretty much on anything you like really awesome. So if you want impressive, quick, punchy flavours, last minute, friend in the kitchen, Salsa Verde is your fella. <laughs> Size 16 Sophie is a pizza addict, but pizzas ooze calories, most of these coming from the thick base, fatty cheeses and greasy meats. Sal's challenge, one skinny mouth-watering pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni, pizza, pizzas cut a centimetre around. So you just literally take half of the pit away. By putting it on, on the shelf, you're going to really crisp it up. They're sort of like crack okay. shells now. It's all quite hard. Tomatoes. And uh, some sun-dried tomatoes, just so that it intensifies the tomato flavour. Sometimes a low-calorie or low-fat food, it tastes insipid. I've got this chilli powder. Now, of course, you could use, like, Tabasco or something like that. Sophie would normally have, like, ten bits of pepperoni on there. So what I've done is basically taken two slices, finely sliced them, and then put them on top, and you'll get a good pepperoni flavour, but with yeah. less sort of fat oozing out. I'm going to put some peppers on there and some lovely green olives. Would you mind cutting up a red onion for no, me? No, of course. And I think people, I think red onion's much better as well because it's sweeter. I'm going to put ricotta straight on there and then when you eat it, it's going to be lovely and creamy. Just going to grate a bit of parmesan. I'm probably going to put hardly any on there. So I'm going to put them directly onto the oven shelf. I'm going to put lots of lovely sort of salad and basil on there just to finish it off beautifully. I just think it's lovely to have a bit of rocket at the side. Just a bit of balsamic vinegar. It's lovely stuff. 
Hardcore skinny, ditch the cheeses. More indulgent, add more meat. These look great. Mm. Really good. Yum. Sophie's regular pizza is 1,180 calories. Sal's skinny pita pizzas are only 574, saving Sophie a massive 600 calories. Do you want to know a secret? Shh. People always tell me that vegetables are boring. I think they're fantastic, especially for dropping a dress size. Now I'm going to take some lovely French beans, cook them for two minutes in boiling salted water, and I scoop them out and pop them in iced cold water. <laughs> this keeps them really nice and crisp and green. I heat up some sesame oil in a really nice hot wok, add my matchsticks of ginger, add my lovely crisp French beans, add a little dash of soy sauce, I finish off with a little sprinkling of sesame seeds. So that's my tip for making vegetables more exciting. No one can tell me they're boring. In Britain, we spend over £2 billion a year on slimming products. But is it all a huge waste of money or do some actually work? Each week, we'll look at a whole range of popular dieting products like slimming patches, breath sprays and dietary supplements. Tonight, we're testing Coffee Slender, a dietary supplement whose secret ingredient, Svetol, is a green coffee extract. Its manufacturers recommend it's used as part of a calorie-controlled diet, but as it would be difficult to isolate its effectiveness under these conditions, we've asked our volunteers to continue eating their normal diet. One group of ladies had to drink Coffee Slender three times a day for six weeks. But there was a twist. While Group A were given the real coffee, we gave Group B a hot chocolate drink instead. Will the genuine coffee drink help Group A lose weight? And what will happen to Group B as they unknowingly drink hot chocolate for the next six weeks? Find out our results later in the programme. most people, Sophie can only cook a few dishes, which is why she eats out so much. I would love new approaches and new recipes and new ideas. Then it, it, it opens up my choice for dinner in the evenings. Chef Sophie's challenge. Create a quick and impressive dish for Sophie to cook for her friends. Traditional Italian risottos are so full of butter and so full of parmesan cheese and everything. Yeah. This one doesn't have any butter in and any parmesan cheese. So I've got a little bit of olive oil in there. Put my finely chopped onions in there. Smash some garlic up for me, honey. The big thing about risotto is using the right rice. You know, you need the kind of soft, plump grains, which has all the starch in it. That's what kind of makes it creamy. If it comes creamy, even though there's no cream in it? Absolutely, and it all comes out of the grains. It's quite clever, little weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we want to do is kind of Almost hear the rice kind of, not popping, but just cook it out a little bit. Can we, li can we listen? Let's I just wanted to hear that it was all okay in there. Yeah, you can really? hear it. Oh, you can you hear see? It. They're saying they want a little bit of wine too. Do they? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, in that case, they must have it. <laughs> so just put a little bit of wine in. Okay, and Matt, just keep on stirring it. You can see how it kind of instantly starts absorbing it. I've got some um, lovely hot vegetable stock. Can you chop some um, spring onions up for me? So chuck. Lovely spring onions in. I think, you know, there's this always mystique to risottos, but, you know, anyone can stir a pan, basically, keep an eye on it. It's giving you a good steamed facial at the same time, actually. <laughs> some little prawns and some king prawns. I quite like the kind of pink and green together as well. Have some lemon, please, honey. Lemon's very good because it lifts flavours of dishes. Hold, hold it over your hand so you can catch any pips. Then, this is my real skinny, skinny tip. Put um, a little spoonful of creme fraiche in. It really does look really indulgent, I think. If you pop the basil in for me, Harriet, that's pretty much it. And I'm just going to show what one portion would be for Sophie so she really gets the idea. So good, it's a really low-fat, healthy, light version of risotto for Sophie. Hardcore skinny, ditch the creme fraiche. More indulgent, add butter. You're telling me there's no butter in that at all? Absolutely not. It's really zingy, isn't it? So light. Delicious. I might just have to try it again to make sure. Yeah. Let's check. Perfectly cooked. Well done. Mm. Like most girls, Sophie loves cakes. I don't like to deprive myself of anything. 
But her favourite chocolate fudge cake is costing her 519 calories a slice. Most of these coming from the butter, sugar and, of course, the chocolate. Harry has her work cut out to make this dish skinny. You know, we're not namby-pambies about this chocolate business. You're either going to have it or not. And if you're going to have it, get it right. Sugar's going in. So this is maple syrup and then honey just for plain, kind of clear sweetness. OK, eggs are going in. In here, right, cocoa powder, self-raising flour, plain flour and ground almonds. This is pure black chocolate, glossy. What we after is chocolate, for goodness sake. You know, you <laughs> don't yeah. take it away from me. Yeah. <laughs> right, um, so yeah, my special ingredient in this cake is beetroot. What are you doing with beetroot and chocolate? It's a really good way of introducing kind of the moisture element into the cake without putting loads of butter and loads of flour. And the colour makes me happy. And if I run out of blusher, I just um, put it on my cheeks before I go. <laughs> yeah. I just think the colours of this are so fantastic. I know, look, already it's so exciting. A tiny bit of sunflower oil and some espresso coffee. Get this thing in the oven fast. I'm deliberately leaving a little bit in the bowl because after all, <laughs> yeah. It's going in at 140. Now, go on then. This is, <laughs> this is absolutely delicious. <laughs> it looks so rich and so absolutely naughty, doesn't it mm. really? If it breaks, it doesn't matter because we're covering the entire thing with loads of chocolate. So Sophie's going to be so surprised if we're talking about doing diets and losing weight when you pull out a trick like this. She's going to be like, oh, kidding me, this is heaven. Here we go. Now, the ultimate fat-free decorations. I'm just going to put some roses in the top. Oh, this is just beautiful. It's yes. like the cake you dream of when you're a little girl. Here we go. Hardcore skinny, just ice the middle. More indulgent? Go on, have a bit more. So, I'm so glad you've popped in, because, hello, we've got some serious chocolate. Do I get first slice? Well, I think you do. You timed that, <laughs> <don't> you? <laughs> Woo. OK. Wow. That is yum. Oh, my God. Do you know, I, honestly, I credit the beetroot with so much mm. of the success of this cake. I think, I that think you should credit yourself, Harry. Yeah. Sophie's regular chocolate cake is 519 calories. Harry's indulgent skinny version is 305, saving Sophie over 200 calories a slice. Over the next six weeks, size 16 Sophie will cook herself thin with pita pizzas, chicken Caesar salad, risotto and chocolate cake. The girls pack up all the ingredients plus some extra skinny snacks. And now they're hitting the shop, searching for a size 14 dress. I like it, but I don't love it. But the big question is, will Sophie be able to fit into it? But first, the results of our experiment. We're buying loads of them, but do weight loss products actually work? This week, we put Coffee Slender to the test. It's a dietary supplement made from a mixture of coffee and green coffee extract called Svetol and costs over 70 quid for a six-week course. It claims to reduce glucose absorption so some of the food you eat won't turn to fat. Up against it is our fake diet product. It's a chocolate drink and at 40 calories a pop, our guinea pigs will unknowingly be consuming an extra 5,040 extra calories over six weeks. Half our guinea pigs drank the fake product and half used the genuine drink. Here's the results. The women taking Coffee Slender lost an average of £2.3. The manufacturers state that you can expect to lose £3 in six weeks, so the results aren't far off their claims. I lost my appetite completely. I didn't notice any difference in my eating habits. My clothes were slightly looser. And the women drinking the hot chocolate? Well, even though they consumed an extra two and a half days' worth of calories, they still managed to lose some weight, an average of 1.3 pounds. Actually, I feel a little bit more skinny. I don't know why. I did feel that my clothes got looser. But what are the professor's thoughts on Coffee Slender's performance as a dietary supplement? Caffeine is one thing that's been known uh, to speed up metabolism a little bit but it's not actually useful in terms of weight loss. And we know looking at people who are heavy coffee drinkers versus light coffee drinkers, there's actually no difference in, in their weight. 
To actually have a useful weight loss, I'd be looking for three or four kilograms. And what it tells me is this coffee product doesn't make you lose weight. Coffee Slender responded by saying all those drinking Coffee Slender lost weight, which was not the case with the controlled group. We only recommend that Coffee Slender is used as an aid to dieting and not as a replacement for it, as in this trial. In several independent clinical studies, the average weight loss when dieting with Coffee Slender was twice that of dieting alone. We think Coffee Slender will at least make your wallet significantly thinner. Six weeks ago, Sophie was a size 16 dining queen living on pizzas, chicken Caesar salads and puddings. Our four chefs' aim was to get her out of the restaurants and back into the kitchen. Now it's time for Sophie to meet the girls and discuss whether the recipes did the trick. Sophie hated her bloated belly, but after six weeks of cooking herself thin, not only does she look amazing in a size 14, but she's lost over a stone and two and a half inches round her waist. And where has that belly gone? Absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Great. Ah, you saved me from the chicken Caesar jungle. And you saved me. Thank you so much. I would have turned into a chicken Caesar salad if I'd have carried on. So the one thing I'd really, really hate was if any of our recipes tasted like diet food. Tell me it didn't. No, I swear to you, it Good. did not. I'm still eating the things that I like. I'm still eating the, the real tasty food, mm. but I'm not putting on any weight. I can have pizzas and risotto and yes. chocolate cake and Caesar salad. It's like, I'm so not on a diet. So, yes, brilliant result. I'm really happy. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Next time, size 16 Fiona goes from this to this when she cooks herself thin eating special fried rice, steak and kidney pud, a fat-free lemon cake and a tasty chicken soup. What a couple of lovely breasts that. <laughs>